What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are in Italy near Sant'Agata Bolognese near the Lamborghini factory uh, because we are here to drive with the Revuelto. Finally, uh, it's been a while we've been looking forward to driving the all new flagship for a while, the V12 supercar is here and well we've got a very nice spec in this blue Arione which is uh, some kind of myth with a black horse apparently and well lovely roads unfortunately no autobahn today of course because we're in Italy but uh, we hope that we get to drive one from Lamborghini or another one uh, on the autobahn very soon because this thing is very very powerful and uh, it needs some space because man oh man so today I'm going to show you around it and uh, I'll show you the beautiful spec and all the tech on it and then we'll take it for a drive on this lovely squiggly road nice crickets in the background as well it's also nice for change right so it is the successor to the Aventador the big big v12 supercar and well it is huge man it's so big it's long it's wide uh, we've got a lovely carbon fiber bonnet here at the front lovely carbon fiber splitter as well this y-shaped DRL integrated into the sort of bumper and not really a bumper here and then this carbon fiber trim as well the nose like with the Urus SE is kind of endless so you don't really have a bumper you just have this like pointy bonnet that that points forward which is very very cool it's a very aggressive looking car it's it has a lot of angles a lot of sh sort of straight angles a lot of uh, intakes ducts cooling it's a very expressive and uh, spectacular car to look at so wheels these are golden sort of golden bronze color uh, these are 21s at the front we've got 22s at the rear but get this this is a 265 front tire let's move to the rear tire because this is an incredible 355 rear tire that is just absolutely massive that is so big outrageous i mean they need it because this thing puts down a lot of power beautiful sort of winglet here as well to direct air out of the wheel well <laughs> nice and uh lovely uh carbon side skirt as well we've got adaptive dampers on the Revuelto which you didn't have you can now also adjust them separately from the driving mode which is great uh, we've got massive 410 millimeter carbon ceramic discs at the front with huge calipers and then moving down the side big air intake here on this beautifully designed door which of course go up as they shoot on the v12 lambo and then the beating heart is here right on this play oh that is hot a lot of heat coming from the exhaust there and the engine as well uh, so we've got an all new six and a half liter v12 here newly developed and it's been rotated 180 degrees so the gearbox used to be right there it would run through the center uh, tunnel but now there is a battery pack a 3.8 kilowatt hour battery pack so the gearbox wouldn't fit there so they flipped it and the gearbox is now transversely placed uh, behind the engine it's got an electric motor there as well between the engine and the gearbox it's got two electric motors at the front the v12 produces 825 horsepower and 725 newton meters of torque combine that with the electric power which is 190 you've got 1015 horsepower going to all four wheels which is kind of nuts right love this exhaust as well it's kind of like a fighter jet from the rear like an afterburner you've got a massive carbon fiber diffuser as well very sleek y-shaped rear lights you know you know hexa hexagonal and y-shaped uh, details are always ever present at lamborghini massive diffuser look at that that is so big also some vortex generators there uh, active rear wing as well which you can operate by pressing a button so let me just show you that if that works like this okay so let's just get in start her up 
So we're in cheetah mode, which is uh, city, chita. And now we should be able to use that button to operate the rear wing. There it goes, okay. Of course, there it goes. So there it is, the active rear wing, which raises up at speed when needed. So, ugh, interior wise, uh, it does feel a little bit more spacious and uh, a little bit more roomy than before. You've got a little bit, you've got a little bit more elbow room. Visibility is very good as well. And it just feels a little bit less cramped in here, which is great uh, compared to the Aventador, I mean, of course. So let's get the door down, which is kind of hard. Woo. Nice start up there. In addition to that, we of course have the new multimedia system by Lamborghini, which is great, looks great. Everything is in there you would need. You've got a passenger display on that side. This gorgeous carbon fiber trim here in this super exotic shape. Uh, a carbon fiber gauge cluster surround there, lovely carbon fiber steering wheel and these beautiful pedal shifters. And then on the steering wheel, you've got these knobs, the rotary knobs for the, or rotary dials for uh, the driving mode you've got 13 in total so you use this one for the driving mode like city goes into electric mode you've got purely electric power from the front engines then you hit strata street engine starts up as you can hear but you can also go to recharge mode which uses the engine sort of as a generator to charge the battery it takes about six or seven minutes goes really quickly then you go to sport everything becomes a bit more exciting and then you also have a performance mode for the hybrid drivetrain for the ev part of that and then you of course have corsa which is race mode performance again and then if you hold it you go to esc off and then you also have performance mode for the EV part of it. Aero, as I showed you, and then you've got a button right here for the lift system, which goes really quickly, there we go. And then you press the button again to go down. And you can also use this switch to go from soft to hard for the damping, which is great. Uh, that you can now have Corsa mode with soft damping, which is nice for these roads. So the seats are also better than before. Uh, it, they are very comfortable and the seating position is a bit better than before because I used to be really really cramped in an Aventador and this this feels much much better much more comfortable also safer and just uh, a more pleasurable driving experience which is great and of course you have the engine behind you there which is amazing so when you start the car by hitting that button you're automatically in cheetah mode which is city mode uh, which means that you can actually drive it electrically. So as you can see, we've got almost a full battery. You should be able to do like 15 kilometers or something like that. Reverse gear is also done electrically. So you can drive it like this, which is also kind of nice. I mean, it's not really meant to do long distances of electric driving. So you get sort of an electric drive sound as well like a weird spaceshipy sound. But this is not the main event. So this is, the electric power is mainly here to support the rest of the car. This is also kind of cool, starting up the engine while you're driving. Uh, but we're just going to go to Corsa mode and performance for the hybrid system. And uh, we're in manual mode. And what you end up with, it, it sounds, you know, it sounds glorious. 1,015 horsepower on paper. It sounds magnificent, which of course it is, but how does it compare to an Aventador, which was, I mean, an amazing car, just drama all around, but not the most sophisticated experience with uh, a gearbox that was basically out of date when they introduced it, the single clutch. And it meant that the driving experience was very rough and uh, also in automatic mode around town it was just not a very polished driving experience this however 
this is just insane the way they've dialed in on all the things that I didn't like about the Aventador and they just they smooth everything out so well because you have this cheese you have this gearbox that is now this eight-speed dual clutch so quick to respond but the entire car feels much more polished more comfortable but also just easier to drive easier to live with and still has this oh, explosion of v12 power when you want it it is an absolute riot to drive still nine and a half thousand rpm redline two and a half seconds zero to 100 so launch control uh, i don't know if we're going to get a proper result here because it's a little bit of a downhill but here we go that is a 2.8 it did struggle a little bit there for traction it had a slight hiccup but uh, 2.77 is not bad to just have a, a try, right? I mean, does it still have all the drama that the Aventador had? No, not really, but the trade-off is worth it because you gain a level of refinement that we haven't really seen from Lamborghini. And, oh, I mean, if that is not drama, then I don't know what is. It is just ridiculous. It picks up so well of course because that electric motor is filling those gaps as well and then the electric motor gives you instant boost you can see a little blue line at the top there uh, which tells you that you have uh, some electric boost now of course there is a downside to all this uh, there is a lot of tech here you've got three electric motors you've got the battery so the car weighs like 1720 kilos dry 1900 kilos uh, with fluids so it is quite a heavy car you don't really feel that when you drive it i have to say because the steering is also really well done this the power steering uh, it's 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 quick and uh, you kind of get used to it really really easily it's really good so you can also turn everything off by holding this button as i said uh, which means that you still have some of that larry lamborghini drama because it sends quite a bit of power to the rear so you should also be able to do a burnout mode or a, a wheel spin start basically so it should be just like this hit the uh, launch control button press and hold and then just floor it but uh, yeah I don't know either we have too much grip or it just it won't let me do it but you can definitely feel that launch control the regular launch control is a lot quicker so how do I know that well uh, we went to Goodwood uh, a couple of weeks ago and we saw our buddy Jeroen Mull, the uh, Lamborghini driver, 
just thresh a revuelto around the Goodwood Trek and doing these absolutely massive burnouts. So I asked him, do you have any like tips or uh, cool things on the revuelto? And he said, yeah, you can do that. But uh, it's not working, but we do have some footage from Jeroen, so uh, enjoy that. Yeah, we can do that. with that weight is you do feel that on the brakes sometimes but the braking has been done so well uh, the pedal is very firm and you don't really feel the difference between the regenerative part and the uh, the actual braking oh my god what the hell So the steering weight, uh, it's quite a light steering wheel, very direct, but it just means that combined with the all wheel steering, the rear wheel steering, that the car just feels a lot smaller and lighter than it actually is. And so what you end up with is basically everything that we love about Lamborghinis and about V12 Lamborghinis but just perfected in a way that is so exciting and just incredible uh, they are they are on another level Lamborghini they are doing really really well with these cars this is the lightest and most powerful V12 they've ever built the car is lighter and stiffer than the Aventador it is just incredible and the way they have integrated all the electrical systems with the V12 and the gearbox yeah, it is kind of nuts. So big thanks for Lamborghini for having us over and uh, letting us have a go in this gorgeous Revuelto. I mean, I hope that we get to drive it in Germany as well because as you've been able to see, this thing is just so quick and uh, I've hardly been able to get close to that nine and a half thousand red line. Uh, it is just crazy, this car, it really is. But it is a magnificent car and I kind of had to get get a couple hours with it to really appreciate it but uh, I do appreciate it now it's mega it really is oh, what a car thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one bye guys